it's nay and welcome back to my channel welcome welcome if you're new here i'm nay and here we talk about all things looking good feeling good and smelling good so if you're interested in any of that just you know join the fam hit the button anyway in today's video we're doing a get ready with me y'all I saw these double line. I just like the look of double wall, double lined cups. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you like a cute double lined cup, double walled cup. How was it supposed to be said? You know what I'm trying to say. I found these in Walmart today, two for eight bucks, and they're it's quite huge. Like, uh, anyway, I'm not gonna have to order. Um, I already found them on Amazon. It's a very short cup, so I had to use my little swirly straw, and even that's a little tall. So on Amazon, I saw six-inch straws versus the really long glass ones that I have, because I just prefer to drink out of glass straws. If you, a uh, glass straws, if you prefer to drink out of glass straws, go ahead and hit that like button, because I don't know, it just feel, it makes me feel extra luxe and bougie, and then because they're clear and see-through, I feel like cleaning it just, I don't know, doesn't ri raise my anxiety. Oh, anyway, so before we get into this get ready with me for my own self-care night, I have my mic here. I'm going to see how I feel about um, the sound. Let me know if you're, the sound is good. But I'll also be doing a voiceover for part of this because during my self-care, I do watch some YouTube or some Netflix or Disney+. Plus. Honestly, whatever I'm feeling like, I'll probably come on here and talk about a little bit of fragrances because I do enjoy talking about fragrances. Um... Basically, anything that brings me happiness, some joy. One thing that is bringing me joy currently, I'm, I want to talk about as I go ahead and prep my face for the day, um, is my closet. Um, so it's not a massive closet. Some people here on YouTube have humongadunga closets, but... Um, it's a nice size closet. I'm going in with the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. Oh, and real quick, this is going to be here for a long time. So either let's get ready together or grab yourself a little snacky snack or have me in the background just chatting away as you clean, cook, whatever the case may be. Let's have some fun together. Um, but I just wanted to let you know it's going to be a long video, okay? I'm really liking this Innisfree sunscreen. Anyway, so back to this closet. I have a vision, and it's been taking several months. Does anybody else feel like when you give your husband a task, it be taking him or her, your partner, a task? It takes them forever and a half to do it. Um, my One of my 2023 goals um was to get hype less um i feel like i you know need to be a little more calm uh i feel like as i'm getting older and being a mommy my anxiety levels i have anxiety i didn't have anxiety before um and so just trying to remain calm. Um, I'm not really a yoga person, although I would be interested in Pilates. Um, so I just got to do things on my day-to-day -to, -day to help keep myself zen. Um, anyway, all of that. I said all of that. My husband is literally a, like a builder. Uh, uh, he Well, he's, a, he's an electrician, but like he does people build things and do all this great wondrous stuff but at, when it comes to the house you know by the time he gets home he's just tired okay so slide in Bobiana me right I am learning a lot I have learned a lot since owning my home um, and I must say I am mighty proud of myself mighty proud of myself what lotion am i going to wear today what do i want to smell like oh this one smells good um only because where my husband can't or is just taking too long to do i figure it out um <laughs> um am i 
shouldn't even put eyeshadow on. I feel like I should. Because I feel like it. What palette am I going to use? I have some really nice affordable palettes. The Moira Endless Moonlight Palette is fairly new to my collection. This is super pigmented, melanin approved. Um, but the Morphe 18 WT Matte Essentials Palette is a lituation, y'all. Um, this is so nice. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll just do it. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to do a super dramatic look. I kind of want to do something simple but pretty i think my outfit is so neutral that perhaps i could even go in with like the morphe 9p petal passion palette oh that's gorgeous and i say all of that but now that i'm looking at that the alter ego coastal palette is very lovely oh this is really nice mm. this is really nice actually Mm, I don't really want a dark look. Let's just go in. I think I'm going to use the, the Morphe 9P Petal Passion Palette. So I've been doing a lot of Bobbiana building stuff. Um, like... Spackling, sanding, painting, and some of the shelves just how the wall is just to make it a stronger shelf um i've been putting up like like we put up these back boards just to give it more stability and then also the boards on the bottom side so that when we put up these brackets right brackets um they have something to stick to this one doesn't particularly have one but most of them do and i've got to say it's been a struggle and a half but also really rewarding i didn't think this was going to be such a pain I'm going to go in with the Pro Conceal in Fairest for my eyes. And I think I am going to do my eye. No, I'm not going to do my eyebrows super. I'm just going to do a little something, something to them. Um, <sighs> this is such a pretty palette. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, okay, that one's a little more deep pink. <gasps> oh, I really like that one. And then this is the other. Hmm, that's a little too deep for what I'm thinking of right now, but that it's gorgeous. I think, I feel like for me at least, I can just be settled in the knowledge that my Morphe, if I get a Morphe palette, it's going to be pretty decent. It's going to be a pretty decent um, eyeshadow palette. You know what I mean? So, a perfume. Let's talk about three perfumes for a second here. That I feel like I'm, I'm liking quite a bit. Um, uh, is the Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Blush. She's just so beautiful and pretty. I've been feeling... Ooh! That was a little too much. Put that in. I did too much. Relax. I've been feeling, not feeling, that's ridiculous to say it like that, but I've been really wanting to reach for a goddess, alien goddess, and to be fair, I'm not sure why she doesn't get more hype. I'm not the biggest fan of coconut in fragrances like that. I've come to realize it's just a lot of them lean a specific type of hair oil that I grew up using. Um, that's just what that coconut smells like in a perfume for me a lot. And it's just such a beautiful, like, it's almost like a tropical, like, or vacation -y type of smell. Very relax and enjoy type of smell. Um, it's just so good. It's almost yummy, but also fresh. It's almost, like, just really pretty. And I feel like a lot of people like the intense version, which is fine. But I'm like, dang, nobody's... Like, not nobody, I'm being extra dramatic saying that. But a lot of people are not giving flowers to the original. You would not have the intense, right, without the original. All right, so I am now watching um, Jessica Braun. But I want to talk about this 
crazy amazing combo this is the elf brow lift that i'm using on my eyebrows right now um it is so affordable and yet it slays it i feel like i have issues with that like soapy brow product i think i've tried quite a few but this one rocks my socks and to be fair the best dip brow pomade i've used is the anastasia one so you have one affordable product and one um not so affordable fraud product but i like the how thick it is like i feel like a lot of people say that it's like too thick but the moussier products that are super soft just wipe right the heck off my brow so <laughs> that was a no <laughs> so the dip bar pomade it is um i usually i used to use the really black one i think it was like ebony but now i'm using the dark brown one and it's just great and it lasts for freaking ever i do my brows let's say 25 20 times out of the month and so it, it, i use it a lot and it's lasting forever um i feel like i go through maybe two of these in the year doing my brows so much so i mean i really love it so I'm going to carve out my brows. I said I was going to do a whole bunch of my brows, and then I ended up doing a whole bunch of my brows. Because I just felt the urge to do so, so I did. The Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer is so good. I got it in 35N, and I think this color is, um, it's not, I did, the goal wasn't to get my skin color. It was to get a little bit lighter. But I wanted it to be my undertone, and yo... So Flora didn't come to play with none of y'all. No, but to be honest, like, I muted out all of this talking because all I really was just saying that, like, the best skin ever line is a lituation. Like, I'm not even being dramatic. It's an affordable, um, pretty affordable price uh, line that I think is just really good. So I also have the best skin ever um, foundation. And it's in 53.5N. Um, and I I just really like the products. I like that the foundation comes in a pump. I like how big and, and thick and soft the Dofa is on the concealer. I feel like the undertones are tr mostly true to what they, heck they say they are. The price point is there. Um, there's tons of Sephora's everywhere. So picking up the package is great. Sephora's... Um, delivery is not too bad i think i get most of my sephora products within two to four days so i mean i'm just saying like i feel like this this line i haven't tried out the other line from sephora but sephora's brand of best skin ever um line is <sighs> top tier i mean let me know down in the comment section have you tried any of these products not and i know i know so um makeup is not everyone's cup of tea some people like the natural look by being literally natural and not that <laughs> makeup no makeup look and that is wonderful um just as wonderful as people who like to do makeup whatever is therapeutic for you that could even just be doing skin care something that is for you something that is not you doing something for someone else do that that's what i'm trying to talk about in this video so if shaving your legs is for you do you if taking a 30 minute shower is for you do that or a bath do that do try to at least once a week preferably twice a week um have some time for you because you matter and i also think that also shapes how others look at you because if you right think or at least say you matter or show you matter other people are going to start treating you as such if that makes sense of course it's not easy as that but i'm just saying um it might help it might help um and i do believe in fake it to make it to a certain extent of course you don't want to fake it too hard but anyway onto this palette i'm honest truly i've been finding a lot of affordable palettes that just slay but um i just think that morphe is a good brand as a whole when it comes to their palettes i mean you know you're gonna get a pretty decent palette i'm sure you've heard the saying an empty cup cannot be poured or something to that nature right that's just the truth you don't want to keep pouring until you're empty 
um, or until you have a meltdown or a breakdown or it causes intense screaming and yelling, things of that nature. Um, because I just don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's useful. And I'm trying as a young mother, a new mommy, right? Um, well, new-ish. My, my oldest is about to be three. Um, to look in myself and see what my faults are and to see how I can work on them and how see how I can prevent certain things from affecting my kids. Um, anyway, I'm going with the next Epic Ink Liner, um, the black one. Listen, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. I still have yet to find a liner that's better than this. Uh, and some of these liners be stupid priced. I like how pigmented this is, okay? I'm melanated. I also feel like there's a, a bunch of eyeliners out there that will work if you're not putting eyeshadow on your eye. But when I put eyeshadow on my eye, I feel like, and then I go and add liner, it just doesn't come out as pigmented, so unless i'm using this i mean there's one other that i'll talk about in another video that i recently found that so far seems pretty good but i just love these liners they're not super expensive i feel like they've gone up in price but they're not crazy expensive um and so i just if it's not broken i'll fix it but i do like a thicker i love a thicker line i just feel like it adds a little pizzazz it adds a little chef's kiss <laughs> Anyway, I'm going in with that uh, Sephora line, uh, the Sephora concealer underneath it just to shape it up my under eye. Now, I have mad creases under my eye down, so I just have to have a little bit more um, expectation of a little bit of creasing going on under my eyes. So for the most part, if I know I'm going to be out a long time and I just like to smile and laugh and go along and chat. So my eyelids are just going to crease. There's not one concealer on this planet that has zero creasing. So I usually carry around like um, a uh, like my Charlotte Tilbury powder with a little puff and call it a day. Like and if I and I and sometimes I do just carry also a concealer with um, a beauty blender just in case you never know when you want to just fix up a little something something but um i am now going to do my actual face let's talk about this foundation this is the old fam formulation of the um lancome idol tint foundation with a little spf in it and i got this 50 percent off five zero and i'm gonna tell you nothing wrong with this foundation um i'm a little surprised that they even reformulated it however i am very glad i did get it at that 50 percent off percentage because one thing i'm not gonna do is spend more than maybe 45 dollars on a foundation um i just wear enough i mean nowadays i wear it more because i have a, quite a few foundations to get through but i just don't feel the need to go through um and use up foundation and you know the spf foundations go spoil a little faster this say bronzer is bay bay i'm probably gonna be talking about it all spring and summer it's literally bay half the time i just use that bronzer other times i'll just go and look a powder bronzer like a dash dash pan tapait and just to set it a little bit uh, it's great <laughs> it's 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 um magical i'm a little frightened to try other say products because it really wasn't a cheap bronzer but i really 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 liked it and a new um not new i'm being dramatic but something that i've been doing a lot more lately is applying my products all on my face so i'm not putting a whole more product um all over my my face than necessary just because of my fine lines and i find the less product i add the better my makeup looks longer does that make sense? Because, like, we're talking about in person here, not just in the camera. Because I feel like a lot of stuff just looks good because it's in the camera. Now I'm setting my under eye. I love these little puffs. One of the best things to come out of this year so far, or maybe the end of last year, with these dang puffs when it comes to makeup. Because they are so affordable. Um, and also the little paw puffs. Well, the AOA brand um, makeup, like... How, uh puffs not puffs sponges they're very affordable too and i think i go about well now that they're so affordable i go about i go through i want to say two of the two of the packs in a year um and i that's what 20 bucks which is the price of one beauty blender 
I do like the beauty blenders though. I do feel like some people are switching the flip now saying that they don't like the beauty blender and they never did. Um, um, but I like the beauty blender still. I just don't think it's worth the price. I don't think it's worth the price. Anyway, here I am going in with um, a little powder bronzer just to bronze it up. If you wanted me like for the is have enough um bronze up on my face i love to just brown up everything don't worry i go and blend all of that out but it's just chef's kiss i'm just gonna go in with the rare beauty mascara which it's pretty good it's not my favorite mascara but it's it's not bad at all and of course i just love the rare beauty brown as a whole and what they stand for so I did hear from a little birdie on YouTube that you could in fact sharpen these Sephora lip liners. Um, it's a no for me, um, because there's like a plastic coating on. I you know I feel like most of us assume you can. And someone said you could. I tried. Um, it was very sharp. Look, I'm just keep trying to sharpen it, and it's just very sharp. So I mean, I got it done, but I'm gonna say it's a no on sharpening these. I I don't know, but I really like that color. I think that one was in Rum Raisin. So I went out because I just felt like I was cutting up my lips and just finished up with this. <laughs> I think it's a Milani liner. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, actually, it's right here. What is this? No, it's a Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in chocolate. So, and then setting, of course, with the setting of all setting one, um, setting sprays. But yeah, I'm going to say you, you shouldn't go ahead and, uh, sharpen that Sephora lip liner because it just got really sharp like and not the actual product but the thing holding it all right so <laughs> it took a lot of that time to watch some videos just took a bra and dropped a video so I'm watching that right now and I love her videos because they're so long um not always but a lot of the time anyway this is this is what we're looking at and I'm really liking this um it's just giving dewy fresh um with some really nice the lips are really cute so i originally went in with the sephora one i tried to sharpen it because i someone online said you could yet yeah, no um even though there's plastic on it no i struggled um maybe and i just failed at it but then i went in with this revlon color stay long wear lip liner in chocolate chocolate it's beautiful um and then I put a little lip gloss on. You saw the yummy gloss. And then I put just a little on my bottom. Not a little. I rubbed quite a bit of um. What am I doing it? Y'all yeah, saw the look of crayon. It's like a really light color that I could never, could never have on just my lips by itself because it would just give ash. I don't know what I did with it, Ash, but. Let's see if I can get back into the sun. I want you, like, it's just, it's so pretty in the sun. Um, guys, I'm struggling. <laughs> It's just gorgeous. The liner, the eyeshadow, everything is just very pretty. So, makeup is done. And I have a hell of a editing to do to get to um, for that. But, what do I want to wear? Actually, do I even want, I think I'm going to highlight a little bit. I don't want to ruin this whole thing. I'm going to go with Flower Beauty's Spotlight Liquid Highlighter in Gilded. Okay. Let's see this. Um, <laughs> I want to put a little on the inner corner. Oh, wow. I used to love highlight a lot, a lot, 
um, when I was younger, like in the beginning of my relationship with my husband, well, now husband, um, and I haven't really used it in so long, not because I all of a sudden don't like it per se, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people, I mean, you correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going to use my finger because this is drying down quite quickly, um, you just go through stages of stuff, um, and the, you know, the past few years, well, granted, you know, we've been, times was a little different, um, of course, right, because of what happened, but I guess I just fell off with that whole highlighting situation, um, and now I'm, like, slowly getting back on. But I did, like, beaming highlight, and I don't know if I ever want to, like, beam like that again. We'll see. But I do like to have a little... Oh, no, no. See, now I'm going to beam today, because I don't know why I went back in with more. It's really pretty in the sun. When you step out of the sun, you have to really look and make sure you've blended it out really well. Otherwise, it's going to look, like, a little patchy. You know what I mean? Am I making any sense? Um, let's just... I know a lot of liquid and cream products is just really booming right now, but I don't know if I would say a lot of them is user, like, beginner friendly if it has a lot of pigment, and I do think that has a lot of pigment, so that's just something I, I keep forgetting that I have to buff out quite quickly upon application. Okay. What fragrance am I going to wear today? I feel like I want to do... Alien Goddess smells so good, but I don't know if that's the vibe I'm going for right now. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I have Juliana Scarlet Letter, which I believe is the Alien Essence Absolute dupe. Like, it's way too strong. It's very nice, though. Maybe I could Coco Noir? Ooh. Ooh. Very lovely. So yes, Coco Noir is what I'm wearing tonight. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this whole video. Let me know down in the comment section if you are getting ready with me. Um, two of your favorite products that you use to get ready. I'm interested to know. Or if you are cleaning, girl, guy, person, go ahead. Do what you gotta do because I've been cleaning and picking up and all of that for the last two days. And I'm just like, ugh, trying to get this closet finished. So shout out to you and hopefully I see you in my next video. Bye bye.